Sean, I'm going to ask you to repeat after me. First, we're going to do it in Arabic and then we'll do it in English. Say, Ashadu. Ashadu. An. An. La. La. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa. Wa. Ashadu. Ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasul. Rasul. Allah. Allah. I bear witness. I bear witness. That there is only one God. That there is only one God. <coughs> and that Muhammad. And that Muhammad. Is his final messenger. Is his final messenger. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Congratulations, brother. Council on American Islamic Relations, also known as CARE, is listening to the community concerns and making a change for their upcoming fundraising dinner. So just yesterday morning, CARE had announced that Sean King would be their keynote speaker for their upcoming Iftar fundraiser. King has dealt with controversies in the past. The activist has been accused of being disingenuous in his work for the Black Lives Matter movement and recently raising money for Gaza. In a statement later on Thursday, Kerr said King would not be the keynote speaker as he has become a distraction from the true meaning of the event. All right, guys, so we got to talk about our favorite BLM woke activist, Sean King, a.k.a. Talcum X, a.k.a. Third Good Partial, a.k.a. W.E.B. DeBlanc, a.k.a. Snow J. Simpson, a.k.a. Martin Luther Cream, a.k.a. Cream Abdul Jabbar, aka Martin Luther Keyboard, aka Light Tyson, aka Racial Dolezal, aka Hewlett P. Newton, aka Alexander Scamerton, aka, <laughs> aka Betty White. <laughs> the list goes on and on and on and on and on. Okay. Um, OJ Mayo. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sean K. Uh, he is the grift that keeps on grifting, okay? Because we got to talk about him getting basically disinvited from a Ramadan event after being accused of using Islam as a grift, okay? Because, of course, this guy has now converted to Islam after being a Christian pastor, okay? He's actually really becoming Talcum X, okay? He actually, <laughs> he actually really is. You can't make this up, okay? So, the Black Lives Matter grift has dried up, okay? He's been exiled from the black community, right? He's been kicked out of the cookout, right? He's kicked out because his scamming and his grifting was so obvious, okay? I mean, a vast majority of these cookout blacks, these people, yeah, they're all scammers anyways, right? But this guy was such a scammer. He was so obviously a scammer that they kicked him out. So, he's moved on to New Grift. The New Grift was the pro- uh, Palestinian grip, okay, where last time we talked about this guy, he was out here basically trying to take credit for getting the Israeli hostages uh, released by Hamas, okay, this guy was basically trying to uh, insinuate that he had connections, deep connections in Gaza that were able to get the Israeli hostages released by Hamas, okay, and then after that scam fell apart, the family came out and basically said, look, you know, we don't know this guy, right? He had nothing to do with helping us at all. Uh, he got canceled by Instagram. He lost his Instagram account. And he was boohoo whining and complaining on the internet about Instagram canceling him. Hey, everybody. Sean King here. First and foremost, thank you so much for your love and support. I'm grateful. I'm safe. And I've been through much harder times than being banned from Instagram. Like I've been through hard times. This is not hard times. Hard times is Gaza right now. Yesterday was one of the worst days of the past 80 days. And what's clear is that Meta, Facebook, Instagram, they have decided to stand in the way of those of us that are fighting for the human rights and dignity of Palestinians. I won't stand for it. I'm gonna keep fighting every way I can. If I can get my account back, Great, but not if that means compromising my values, speaking up for Palestinians. So let's keep on fighting and promise me this, that whether I get to come back to Instagram or not, promise me that you'll fight twice as hard as I was, that you'll continue doing everything in your power to stop this genocide. I love you. I appreciate you. We have attorneys and other people involved. I don't know where it's going to go, but let's give it our best shot. Love you all.
Take care. Yeah, absolutely hilarious. Okay, this guy is getting a taste of his own medicine, right? Because he wrote a whole article outlining why social media platforms should censor Trump, why they should de-platform Trump, why he shouldn't be allowed on the platform. And then it turns around that these same social media platforms that he wanted to censor Trump ended up censoring him, right? Ain't it amazing how that works, okay? What these leftists ask for, what they beg for. They want to boohoo, whine, and cry when it's turned back around and used on them after they advocated for it to be used on their political opponent. So that being said, again, he's moved on to a new grip. His new grip is the pro-Palestine grip, okay? He tried to get that pro-Palestine money, which, hey, there's a whole lot of it out there, okay? Uh, just like there's a whole lot of money on the other side of that uh, situation as well, too, okay? There's a whole lot of money to be involved in any of these conflicts, okay? Um, so with that being said, uh, Sean King is trying to host fundraising events, fundraising events, in which he's launching a thousand dollar a ticket speaking tour, okay, uh, after converting to Islam in solidarity with the people of Gaza, okay, so this guy went from Christian pastor to Islam, okay, he's actually becoming Talcum X, okay, um, and apparently the pro-Palestinians are rejecting him, they're saying, no, no, you ain't gonna grift off us the same way that you grift off of black people, <laughs> Take a look. It's next level pathological. You guys, he took credit for hostages being released. So to bring this all back around, and I hope that you guys are still with me at this point, and I hope if you know anybody, anybody, I'm begging you, if you know anyone that is going to spend money on this, I implore you to implore them to not. There are so many other causes that you guys could be giving your money to. I understand people want to give, people have good hearts, they want to help. There are so many GoFundMes through like Operation Olive Branch that are families in Rafa trying to get out that you could put that money toward. Please do not or let anybody you love buy a $120 ticket or a $60 ticket to watch this next level grifter pretend to raise money for Gaza because I guarantee you. Gaza will see none of that money. No, none of this money is going to see Gaza at all. All this is going to do is further enrich Sean King and further help him build his brand as some type of fucking ambassador for human rights. Do not give this guy any of your money. I don't even know, why are you on tour talking about, talking about Gaza? I'm not saying that people shouldn't be spreading awareness about Gaza everywhere they can, okay? So if he wanted to just spread awareness about Gaza, then okay, the more information and the awareness people spread about Gaza, great. But that's not what this is. He's going on tour. He is making a profit. Why he, who is not an authority on Palestine or the Palestinian people, why is he going on tour? He's centering himself and he is going on a whole ass fucking tour like he's Taylor Swift charging hundreds of dollars a ticket. It's really next level and it's amazing how many people still fall for it. He is financially predatory and now he is preying on the Muslim and the Arab and the Palestinian community and he that's how he do. In, in people's greatest time of need and just like during Black Lives Matter, when there was uptick in violence against black people, he was right there to try to suck money out of their community. And that's exactly what he's doing right now. Please consider giving to one of the GoFundMes or something that gives directly to families trying to get out of Rafa. Or give to the Red Crescent. Give to UNRWA that is actually going to be helping the Palestinians. Not helping him enrich himself. Speaking in a fucking tour. No, the only conference he should be giving is how to be a scam artist, okay? That's legitimately the only thing he is qualified for. Hoodwink people into giving them your money and pretending it's for a good cause. Scam I am. Scam I am. Please share this with everybody you know that follows Sean King. Please tag your friends so that they can see this and not give him money. Friends don't let their friends get scammed by Talcum X. Yeah, so you see that you heard that, okay? Um, so again, the activists have come out and said, no, no, uh, Sean King is a scammer, okay? Do not believe Talcum X, okay? Uh, do not pay to go to this event because he's trying to steal your money. He's trying to take your money. This is what they're saying. And now all of a sudden you have some of the stars that were supposed to be touring with him in order to fundraise. They're now pulling out and some shows are getting canceled. Eight came early, everybody. Uh, 
updates on the situation with this tour. So if you go to their website now, two of the events have been removed, the Atlanta event and the ostentious uh, San Diego event with Macklemore. Uh, and the reason is both the speakers that were set for those events have pulled out. This is the CEO lawyer. He posted this yesterday, um, and since then he has removed it, I think because he received a lot of hate from people for pulling out. But major props to him for speaking out and actually listening to the community. And this is Macklemore's comment on Amanda Seal's recent video about the same event and tour. And so I just want people to know organizing works. And I'm extremely, extremely proud of everybody who spoke up and is fighting for the people of Gaza. They have every right to know where this money is going. They have every right to question it, to not be threatened or intimidated or blocked for questioning it. And a huge shout out to all the other Palestinian organizers, especially Jinan Matari, because she has been receiving a lot of hate from Khaled and some of the other people because of her stance on this. But this just proves that organizing works and we will always stand up for the truth. And no matter what anyone says, it's always going to be about Palestine. Yeah, so you see that you heard that, okay? So you have all of the people that were supposed to be touring with him or helping him raise money. They're now pulling out. Events are being canceled. And now even the Muslims, right? The Muslims are saying, no, no, no. You can't even participate in an Islamic dinner with us, okay? Even after this guy converted to Islam, right? He got disinvited from an Islamic dinner. Again, just imagine going through all that, right? Imagine rejecting your Christian faith. Rejecting your Christian faith and converting to Islam in solidarity with Palestine, aka in order to uh, move on to your next griff, right? And then the same people that you're trying to get in with, they're, they're saying, nah, we, we don't want you, right? <laughs> we're, we're not going to let you grift off of us. Again, this is hilarious. This is a hilarious story. Let's read here. Sean King, a former pastor who recently converted to Islam, was disinvited Thursday from a Ramadan fundraising dinner due to his controversial history, the Daily Mail reported. Again, this guy's being canceled. Again, this guy has spent his whole career advocating to cancel people who he disagrees with politically, and then he's getting canceled. <laughs> amazing, absolutely amazing. King got into recent controversy the day after his conversion to Islam, which was done out of a professed sense of solidarity with Palestine. He announced a multi-day speaking circuit that sold 1,000 VIP tickets, according to the outlet. Again, imagine, this man converts to Islam, and then the next day he's like, bruh, come buy my $1,000 tickets to come uh, hear me talk about Islam and Palestine, right? As if he's some type of expert. King claimed all proceeds from his speaking tour would go to Palestinian issues, the Daily Mail reported, a.k.a. his pockets. Right? His pockets is where it's going. When the Council on American Islamic uh, Relations uh, care Minnesota branch had advertised King as a civil rights icon and a keynote speaker for their Ramadan fundraising dinner. It engendered online backlash, uh, according to the outlet. Do not let care be tainted by association with this grifter. One user reportedly wrote, quote, people familiar with his history know he's a prolific scam artist. I wouldn't associate with him, especially for any fundraiser. Another posted the Daily Mail reported. The backlash had a discernible effect on Care, who tweeted out Thursday that King had been disinvited. Quote, we have had concerns expressed directly and indirectly by our community regarding Sean King being the keynote at your annual ITER fundraiser. We have made the decision to not have Sean King as the keynote speaker for our upcoming annual fundraising dinner, CARE Minnesota wrote. Wow. The organization uh, also appears to have deleted the post announcing King's presence at <laughs> the dinner. Uh, this is not King's first controversy. Yeah, so again, we all know what King has been uh, accused of here, okay? And it seems like um, his new grift is uh, off to a really bad start, right? It's <laughs> off to a really bad start. Okay, so he went and converted to Islam, rejected Christianity, did all this just to... Um, not be accepted by the people that he's, um, you know, begging to be in bed with, right? And it's absolutely hilarious. It seems like this guy's grifting career is quickly coming to an end because he can't grift off anybody anymore, right? He's he's done, okay? This is what happens when you ruin your reputation so much 
that again you can't even you can't even grift off the pro palestinians this is amazing absolutely amazing stuff anywhere this guy goes he's automatically exiled in 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 shun right which is again hilarious because he built his whole career off of doing that to people that he politically disagrees with so hey uh couldn't happen to a better person let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace